Hi everybody, I'm No Coda, and I'm bored, and I decided in my infinite wisdom that it would be a good idea to try and make a horror game. So first off, I have no idea what this game is even going to be about. All I know is, I like horror, and I like games. So I figured that the best way to approach this was to charge blindly ahead with no semblance of plan or inspiration. You'll see over the course of the next few moments how well this worked out for me. I decided to start my project using Unity's third person controller package, because I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered spending hours creating a character controller that quite frankly would have been an inferior version of what Unity can provide me with for free. And also I have no idea what the f I'm doing. I thought for now I'd go for the Resident Evil 4 style over the shoulder camera as I was a fan of that implementation in the RE2 remake and Bloober's recently announced Silent Hill 2 remake looks to have been given the same treatment. So what's next? Well, a lot of horror games seem to have some form of inventory system so I thought that might be the next logical step. And, and you know, I could have just picked up any of the million and one inventory system assets on the Unity Asset Store but so far all I've done in this video is download a ready-made character controller and copied the camera positioning from another game that I like. So here I'm creating a simple inventory script with the ability to add and remove items from a list. The cool thing is that the items can actually be made from Unity's scriptable objects. With the help from another script on the item in the scene, a sphere collider checks if the player is within a certain distance from it, and when a button is pressed, it gets despawned from the scene and added to the player's inventory. It. That's pissing me off. So let's move on to something else. Event system. I thought that it would be a good idea to make a component that would listen for generic in-game events, like walking into a certain area and triggering a sound effect, or something horrifying to jump through a window like a zombie or an alien or a global economic crisis. I tested it out by having the component trigger a sound when the player walked inside the collider area. In case you're wondering, I'm 32. Well, now that that was done, I couldn't help but feel like all of this just didn't feel very... Horror. So let's just horror it up a bit. I took a look on Mixamo to maybe try and grab some spooky monster assets and I ended up stumbling across this freaky looking mannequin and I thought, why not? Let's throw that in. I then added the spraying animation and placed them in front of this building to escalate the creep factor. The scene is still looking a bit bland so I downloaded some shitty wall and concrete floor textures to spruce up the place. Turned down the scene light and added this point light and thought that it would be cool if there was some kind of creepy monster standing there waiting. So back over to Mixamo to grab this handsome chap. Fuck off. Throw him in the scene, make him incomprehensibly tall and I also stole this bit of code to make the light randomly flicker and voila we have horror couple this with the event system that we made earlier and we're well on our way to making the next best indie horror sensation that's a thick ass bar well that's all i can be bothered with for now remember to and hit the